welcome back to Buddy Spirits and Cigars, and we have the crew back. I see that uh, Fletch and Cameron are recovering nicely from uh, being off. So, uh, hope you guys Amen. are, are uh, doing better. Anyway, so uh, today's uh, spirit is going to be the Calumet Farm 14 year. Um, this spirit is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon, and it is a 96.2 proof. So a uh, little pricey on this bottle. So I know I, already, I can already hear the BSC Simon Cowell. Just, he's, his gears are turning. Um, this particular uh, batch is 19 barrels. That's it. So extremely limited on this. And um, I know it's coming. Mm -hmm. I know it's coming. <laughs> well, shit, it's already lost two points because yeah, of that. It yeah. has. Period. <laughs> Period. So it doesn't smell too bad. No, no, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's got a good nose. 74% um, corn, 18% rye, and 8% uh, malted barley as for the mass bill on this. So it, it smells good. Yeah, I think it it's does. got a very pleasant smell. It does. Cam? Uh, yeah, yeah, it smells good. Spicy, not spicy. <laughs> Smelling hot. <laughs> Get out of practice. What do you think? Where's it at? I say it, it smells good, then all of a sudden it's like I get a. Oh, heck. I mean, it's oh, almost man. like a. <laughs> Just a glass. Paint. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not lying. It, there's a paintingness. Yeah, yes. smell, it smells like a nice semi gloss from Sears, right? Yeah, I mean, Hell it, yeah, it kind of, yeah. Semi gloss. Yeah. There you go, son. Sears and yeah. Roebuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, glass. <laughs> yeah. It's that, you know, one coat is all it takes crap, you know? Yeah. Got, the got a built-in primer in. Yeah. It doesn't smell like that to me. I'm just, you know, helping my boys out. So, no shit, Cam. Are you getting a little bit of a paint smell? I swear to God. Yeah, not, me too. I'm not hopping on bandwagons. Right. Oh, you'd never do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Them Sooners run You're bandwagons. Validating me. Yes. Yeah, them, sooners, not, them Sooners run bandwagons now. But, well, I'm, you know, hey, you what? know me. What? Y'all we'll run bandwagons. Uh, well, we run a cat. You get, you know, y'all ever seen the video of that turning over? Their yeah, I'm turning over. I have. Man, dog. Uh, I, I mean, it's hard. To, it's hard to what? It would be hard Just if you were over. on the let's, let's covered wagon bourbon. team and you had let's to limp off the let's field let's when that happened. Yeah, you got I mean, to drag ass. Literally, yeah. I don't know if the wagon broke. It did, but. Oh, you see, and that's yeah. even worse. Now you got to drag yeah. ass off the yeah. field. I'm sitting between, don't get a load of this I'm sitting between the boys. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> All right, let's taste. Cock knocker. I, you know, I, I, you know, I. The, uh, the oak is pretty, pretty prominent, I think. Does it taste like paint smells? No, it does not taste like paint Certainly smells. Doesn't. I mean, I'll... Have you ever tasted paint? Not that I know. Unfortunately, you, yes. Hey, you guys are going to think I'm full of crap, but I kind of smell it now. I, after I, after, yes. after nosing it and then taking a taste, I actually kind of get, I, get I, a yeah. catch of that. <laughs> this guy. Get a load of this guy, Cam. <laughs> uh, the vanilla pops out. I'll say this. It's spicy. A little talking, um, maybe. For me, it's a gnaw dog. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. no, you know, yeah. there's not for me a lot of redemption there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a, it's just a glass of spicy alcohol. I don't mm. think the rye is probably is what gets him. I think it is too. It's just not for me. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, because if you notice on the 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 wheat. Mm -hmm. Mash bills, he's not quite as yeah. this is spicy. Yeah, I think he's more into a juniper berry type thing though, but that's okay. I uh yes. think it tastes better than it smells. <laughs> more into, actually I think it tastes pretty good. He's more into clear liquids from the subcontinent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the woody taste uh, and smell and, you, and you can definitely I think some vanilla's popping out as far as even in, on the nose. I'm getting like some sweetness. Yeah, but almost yeah. like a medicinal, like maybe like cherry, 
I don't know. Some sort of. I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 not bad. I mean, it's it's not one hundred twenty dollars, but it's good. Yeah. Let us let us be frank here. One hundred twenty dollars. Hell, nah, dog. I for me, be you know, I knew I knew you worked with him. I knew you worked with him so long that you envied him, but I didn't know you wanted to be him. That <laughs> kind of Frank. maybe that maybe that explains Frank, the sideburn. I'm talking about my father, Frank. So oh, I was talking about Frank. We were talking yeah. about Frankie Duane. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, oh, Frankie D. The other yeah. testicle to him, you know. Yeah, I would to say to Cameron's nutsack. Yeah, from Cameron is talking out of his day. ass because his mouth knows better. <laughs> I mean, you're probably not wrong. No, Frankisms are pretty good. Right. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, I mean, I, I they're often little known as well. For me, at least. I, I like it. I, I don't think it's bad at all. It, it's not. Uh, it's not over the top. But I don't think it's bad. Yeah. No, it's good. It's not a hundred twenty dollar good. I agree. That's. Let's half yep. that price, and then we're probably talking. Oh, shizzle. It's, yeah, it's better. It's still... I'll yeah. give you 30 bucks tops. Uh, that's kind of... I mean, the proof... <clears throat> I mean, there's not... It, it's good. Don't get me wrong. And, okay, it's 14 Sorry. years old. Sorry. I get it. You've got to, you know, proof it down a little bit to make it last longer or to, you know, to get more bottles. But, damn. Could you imagine this at, like, barrel strength? Do you think it would? I think it would be. It, then it would be worth one hundred twenty dollars. Probably. But. Yeah, nah, nah. That being said, it does not have a watered down. No, no, it, it doesn't. It, so, it does and that's not. Cool. You're not yeah. losing, to, in my, my opinion, you're not losing the aspect of what they're trying to get across mm -hmm. in this bourbon. So it's not a it's not a watered down flavor. No. Uh, but it's. it's that's not one hundred twenty dollars good. It, it, yes. To me, it's a, a little thin. It, it, it's little not watered bit. down. It's just. It's definitely not blackened thin. There we go. Yeah, there no, <laughs> no, blackened is the one that it, it's just almost. It's pretty much watered with a hint of yeah. Yeah, something yeah. This, yeah. yeah, and and this is this and blackened is what half the price of that, a little less than half the price. And it's got a super badass story. I don't oh, remember the price no, of black. I was it was around 50. But I'll tell you yeah, what, I was thinking it was know, a 50. Yeah, you can refer back to the Blackened episode. We filmed it at 906. Yeah. You go Garrison back. Avenue, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Got to go there and check them out. They're awesome. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, That's true. Start the ratings down there at the end. Uh, about two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Um, the price point, the availability is. is I'm going to steal Kevin's thunder on that. That's part of it. Oh, he's, and he's part of it is, for me, I just don't really care for it. I think it, it's okay to me, but it's, I'm with you. Price point, for sure. It is not $120 good. I'm going to pile on. I'm going to go two. Uh, that's just hot. It's expensive. It's... <laughs> Thought. 96 uh, proof it's hot. It's <laughs> it is, hot. man. I'll tell you. From the back of my lip down, I'm like, oh, this is You're this out of spicy. Well, it could be. It could be. But that's where I'm going with it. Yeah, uh, I don't like I mean, it. I would never buy it, literally, ever for that price. Um, would you buy it for $30? Probably not. Okay. Would you just buy it, period? <laughs> probably okay. not. That's fine. You don't like it. That's it's a uh, negative. Yeah. So for me, I'm going, it, it's not really fighting the cigar, but it doesn't really complement it tremendously no. for me. No. Um, so I'm, that, that's a big rating that I have for, for my spirits on this. Um, price point's terrible. It's not worth 120-ish dollars. Um, that price kind of fluctuates depending on where you are. I mean, I think there's been some people that may have gotten this for you know, 105. Yeah, I mean, it. But I don't know what the MSR or suggested retail price is. But 120-ish uh, is what we paid for it from uh, East End Liquor in South South Oklahoma. Um, nice boat. They, out. they do not. Yeah, they don't get. Know, they don't yeah, price gouge. Yeah, so they, they um, yeah. great people. But anyway, I'm just. It's not really there for me on this particular one. So, I will be the last two rating that this gets. 
so <laughs> yeah, I'm going to rate it at a two. It, uh, I think the Oak and Eden was a uh, 1.25. No, 7.5. 1.75, I think. I thought it was 1.25. No, it was a 7.5. Was it? Was it? Was it? I think oh. it was 2.5. It, okay. it was in the ones. Yeah, it was, it was in the ones. The I think it was a one seven five. I think so. Okay, well, this tastes better than that, but it's also more expensive. So, quite a bit more expensive. Yeah, it's twice over the price. double. Yeah, over double. Over double. Um, and it's better. It doesn't have the proof points that it had. Um, it, I mean, I would buy this at fifty bucks. I like it. I think it tastes good. I would drink this if somebody were to offer me this. Be like, hell yeah, I'll drink that. Because it's, it's pretty good. Right. It's not $120 good. It's that? not $80 good. It's 50 at best good. And so based on that, <clears throat> if Oak and Eden was a 1.75, which I thought I had it at a 1.25, uh, I'm going to give it a... Better than Okanagan. 1.832. No, no, I'm going to give it a 1.25. I mean, that, that price point and the proofs just, just kill the shit out of it. I mean, it's it tastes good. Calumet, you did a good job with your flavor. Unfortunately, your price point, yeah. Bonkers. Yeah, you're, you're bending us over. It's not worth it. I was 1.25. All right. So, so it's the same as Okanagan because of everything that knocks it down. Yeah, absolutely. Flavor wise, it yeah. beats it. Yeah, flavor wise, I mean, if we were going to. Go on flavor alone, yeah. This would much just it, it kicks Open Eden's ass, but this is a 1.25 only because of price and proof. And, well, not only because, right on, yeah. Either way, 1.25 that's where I'm going with. Can't change my mind. Open Eden was a previous episode to this, so you guys go check that out and see what we thought about that. And it's, we kind of have some of the story that goes uh, with how Open Eden does their. Um, their juice. So, anyways, that's our score on Calumet 14. Um, I heard that it's better than the 10 and 12 and the 15. And I had no idea. Uh, I haven't had the others, but as far as this bottle goes, it's well, just, disappointing to hear. It really yeah. is. And it, I'll tell you what, it drives me away from wanting to try the others because if they're along the same price point as this one, and I've, actually, the 15 is more expensive than this. I think it's another... I've seen it for about 5 to $10 more. Yeah, you know, so... Exactly. So, I mean, you're adding that on top of what this one costs. It's just in my... It's just not there for me to yeah. want to pay that yeah. much money yeah. to try it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to buy a bottle of this. However... Um, I may buy if, a... If you fans want us to do that and we get enough of you guys that want to do that then uh, we will definitely entertain the thought of doing that but it, this one is just not there in that aspect it's good but not not for the price point yeah. like i said it's at least got to be halved on the price and then minus ten dollars minus twenty percent for yeah. for kevy so uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just in I'm a way. kind of a cheap bastard. Though. Well, well uh, bro, you are no, a I don't cheap think, I don't, bastard. I disagree with that. I don't think it's that you're cheap. I think mm. it's that there are so many cheaper bourbons that offer more than what this does yeah. and that uh, are so much better. Mm. So to me, it's not that you're cheap. It's just you know that there's cheaper mm. spirits that taste a whole lot better mm -hmm. and even a higher proof point. Oh, yeah. So not yeah. that proof point drives our decision completely. That's not, we don't. You get more bang for your buck if you're trying to get messed up. You want to hire. Yeah, food. true. But now, well, if you're just wanting to get messed up, spend six bucks on a jug of rich and rare and end up blind. It's well, cool. But, exactly. I mean, but it's I mean, not what we're we're talking about. Blind. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but as far as tasting a, yeah. a well-roundedness mm -hmm. of, of a review and a taste and, and all that stuff, that's not the driving factor. Is the proof? Generally, proof adds flavor, though. Well, that's so. It's less watered down. Yeah, I mean, you I mean, have you more get, of the offering. Yeah. But anyway. So the cigar we're smoking today is a Rocky Patel um, Edge Habano uh, Nicaraguan. Really good cigar, and the last Edge that we had was the Sumatra. This one compared to the Sumatra, this is another great stick. Um, in 2015, this actually ranked higher than the Sumatra did in 2007. It was number seven. Actually. This was number seven, mm -hmm. and, it, and it, the score was actually higher. It was a 94, so uh, the Sumatra was a 91. 
to me, this cigar is smoother. It's it's got spice and um, some cedar wood notes, stuff like that. But it's a smoother offering than a Sumatra wrapper. I like Sumatras though. Uh, I'm a fan. Of I'm a fan of Sumatras. They're great. They're great stogies. Yeah. Um, of course, another long filler cigar. That's uh, that's all we smoke on this channel, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. But anyway. <laughs> Um, one of these days we might break out of white out. Uh, I, I like cigars. I don't like Dutch trash. Masters Panatellas. But uh, I mean, we may go medium filler. Mm -hmm. even, but I don't want. I don't want to do it on gas station stuff. Oh, yeah. That stuff's it's terrible. Oh, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna these surprise are, you. These are, uh, it's a, like I said, it's Edge Series, so it's another great budget stick from Rocky Patel, uh, around seven-ish dollars. Yeah. Um, Winston's. So, on Rogers Avenue, Fort Smith, Arkansas. 5304 right Rogers. Is the place to get these. I'm telling you guys, they have plenty of the Edge series, um, along with other offerings from Rocket Patel, but um, great budget smoke. Really, really good. So, what gives this a spice, looking it up, it says volcanic the tobacco. Absolutely. So, that, yeah. that came from Omotepe, which is a active volcano in Nicaragua, one of 23, I think, that are actually active in that in that country. Wow. But the island of Omotepe, the soil is about the color of this tablecloth. Yeah. And Nicaraguan tobacco in and of itself, doesn't matter Jalapa, Esteli, Condega, or Omotepe, has kind of got a little more spice to it to me than others. But that Omotepe with all the nitrates from that volcano gives an ex especially good flavor to me. I agree. And it, it's it's a bolder cigar as well, um, full flavored. Um, nothing that's going to really kick you in the teeth, but um, it may not be something that if you're a very new to cigars, a beginner, it may not be something to start out with. But they uh, they do have a Connecticut, so you there not. you go. If you want to mm -hmm. start out with something like that, this is where it's at. Don't go with those this lighter is, leaves. Well. Yeah. Now, starting off, you don't know what you like, so okay. you gotta try a few things. I started with a Connecticut, and it did not take me long to move past that. <laughs> no, you, you pretty much, you, you glommed so, onto the 99 vintage and then discarded it like yesterday's toy yeah, pretty fast. Yeah, so, but if you don't I know recall. where to start, I would rather somebody try to have a good experience versus get something that's, that really, had, they have a bad experience and then they want to stray away from cigars, so. I mean, you didn't start out on a on a Florida Los Santos Maduro, you know. No, I started mm -hmm. out on the uh, Curly Head Special De Deluxe Maduro. The so, Deluxe, yeah. yeah. And so that's not a crazy strong cigar either. Yeah. But so, I mean, which is a good offering. Maduro doesn't necessarily mean strong. Correct. By the way. Um, yeah, but I mean, there's more flavor there than in yes. the, than you know. Yes. Padron, because the leaf goes through a little more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the champagne. Yeah, the champagne. Yeah, whatever the hell that is. Yeah. But. Um, a, a Perdomo Champagne, a Perdomo Habano, Connecticut, a Fuente Chateau Natural, a 99 Vintage Toro from, uh, or a 99 Vintage from Rocky. Uh, all of those are good lead-in smokes. They're all mild, got good flavor. They're all built well, construction well, so they'll smoke easy. Those are all good starter places. I agree. Ashton H. Maduro, stuff like that. Yeah, the Ashton White Label Maduro is, mm -hmm. is a, it's a, it's a milder smoke and it's a Maduro, so people kind of think, oh, that's really strong because it's kind of dark, but it's not. It's really not at all. So, um, the accessory we're going over today is the Zycar tune-up tool. And, man, I don't know how people live without this once they, once they try this. Yep, they're handy. This is insane. So, uh, this particular tool, you can take the, the bit out and it has a Phillips head and a flat head. Um, super handy for, uh, you'll have some lighters that have a larger uh, flame adjustment and then some of them have just a, a small flat head screw or something. So um, there's millions of different lighters out there. However, this kind of remedies that. It has a flat head and a Phillips head. One of the coolest things to me about this is this has a bleeder option, so you can actually pull the cap off of, of this tool and you can actually bleed your lighter and bleed the air out of your lighter. So when you go to refill a lighter, and you, your lighter is it's done uh, as far as fuel goes, you still need to bleed the air out of that lighter. Uh, if you don't, you'll see the flame jumping like crazy. If it lights, uh, once you refill it, you'll see the flame jumping like crazy. 
Also, it adds too much pressure in there and you don't want to blow out any seals or anything like that. So if you use this bleeder tool, it has a, an ejection on the side as you've seen in the, in the feature. Um, it has the ejection in the side so you can face that away from you. You can actually bleed this out in, um, in a safe manner and then refill your lighter. This thing is, it's a $12 tool, but man, it's worth a lot more than that in my opinion. I, I don't know how people make it without them. Because <laughs> there's a lot of times you'll find yourself, you'll just find anything you can to bleed your lighter. Whether it's a pen, paper clip, whatever kind of fits down in, but inside the middle of the adjustment where you feel. And uh, this keeps you from doing that. It's not an expensive tool. However, they it's are invaluable. not always in stock. So um, we happen to have one and we love it. Zycar done a great job on this. Um, I don't know, I, I just, there's not a, you can't say too much good about it really. I mean, it's just a great tool. Simple and essential. Simple yep. and essential. Y'all <clears throat> so, carry stuff like that? No, Winston does. Yeah, uh, this is available, or if they have them in stock, it's available at Winston's, uh, Rogers Avenue, Fort Smith Art, so, and uh, they have tons of lighters, accessories, and they got a new display of Rocky Patel lighters, and I'm telling you, Rocky has mm -hmm. made some amazing Lighters. They, they've stepped up to the front of that. They have. They are lifetime warranty is the killer. Yes, uh, that's that's the best thing. If Which it, I told you guys in the in the <clears throat> Old Eden episode, um, their lighters are lifetime warranty, and they'll definitely be glad to accommodate you guys. So, anyway, that's all we have time for on this episode. Thank you for joining us again for Buddy Spirits and Cigars. Well, full crew is back, man. and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't buy it, by the way, uh, Caddy Farm. Don't don't waste your money. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>